AMD collaborates with customers and partners to ignite the next generation of computing and graphic solutions at home, at work, at play, and they do a heck of a job of it, getting a lot of attention here at CES. AMD spokesman Chris Hook joins us now. Chris, welcome into tomorrow. How are you? Oh, it's great to be here. Glad Thank you, Dave. It's a pleasure to have you with us. You guys are, are creating a lot of buzz, too, doing some neat things, great fast processors, of course, and talking about good graphics goodies. Uh, why, for example, are graphics so important in, in the world of computing these days? Well, that's a great question. So, um, so when you're at work, uh, you're delivering a PowerPoint presentation. Uh, you want to just you want to wow your audience. You want to deliver a more impressive uh, presentation than the next guy. If you're a salesman or or, or what have you, you want to embed video. You want to embed special effects. You want to have fancy transitions. Uh, you need a powerful graphics process to be able to do that seamlessly. At home, you've got. Um, you, you've, everybody's got a digital camera with the ability to take video, with the, the ability to take uh, high-resolution photographs. You want to be able to edit them. You want to be able to edit the videos and upload them on YouTube. You need graphics processing for that. And, and finally, wh when you're at play, uh, when you open up uh, Crisis or, uh, or Half-Life 2 and, and you want to play a, a, a uh, first person shooter game just a little distress a little bit after work you need graphics for that too so really graphics are at the center of our digital lifestyle and Chris great point of course when you talk about gaming because sure I think that's uh, up front but I'm glad that you also touched on such things as PowerPoint presentations I mean it's yep. simple as a business presentation do you yep. want to make the sale and impress folks or right. do you just want to have some dull presentation maybe they'll exactly. buy there's a big difference there in, in helping you with your business for sure now, as in addition to, to, to of course gaming and maybe how about homework or maybe, you know, how about just anything else at home that you're dealing with? Video, what an awesome opportunity you have with great processing power and great graphics cards to do neat things these days. Absolutely. And what do you foresee uh, as we head further into tomorrow that folks are going to be using their, their high-speed processors and their graphics cards for more than ever? Well, I mean, certainly um, video editing is becoming a big, a big part. Uh, photo editing is becoming big. You know, the other day, Dave, I was uh, helping an elderly neighbor of mine who's 78 years old uh, use the Internet for the first time. And, wow. and as I was playing What an experience for you as well as well, for them, right? It is. Sim <laughs> simple things like how a mouse works, we, we all take it for granted, but yeah. this is you know, brand new to some people. Wow. And as I was setting up his computer, he's got you know, folders and folders and folders full of digital photos. So, so even though he's not familiar with the internet, uh, he's got a digital camera. And, and that, what, that speaks to the fact that digital cameras are everywhere. Everybody, if they're a grandmother or a great-grandmother or a great-grandfather, uh, everybody from, from, you know, the kindergarten student to, uh, you know, to, to the retired folks, they use this technology. And you want to be able to, when you've got a video and you've taken a video of your family, you want to be able to edit it together and, and send out CDs for Christmas, or you want to be able to take your photos and you want to be able to maybe um, stylize them a little bit. And, and it's something really that isn't just in the realm of the enthusiast or, or the hardcore gamer yeah. anymore. It's something really that's fallen into the mainstream. And it's something that, that everybody uh, is getting into. So, so I think in terms of, uh, of adoption rate, I would say, uh, absolute video is the future. And what a great story, too. I'm so yeah. glad that you shared that with us because we can all relate to helping someone the first time they've ever had the experience, especially with the Internet. And to know that this elderly guy is already tech-savvy enough to of be course. storing all these pictures, and now he can share them so easily, right. and you've helped make that possible. Absolutely. Had to give you the warm fuzzies, too. Right? Oh, I, I did. It was, it was really enjoyable. It was really great to see. Let's talk about, uh, when we talk about a uh, graphics processor and top-of-the-line processors, uh, Is it, how do folks justify spending more money for a different processor maybe sometimes when they say, well, if this will kind of do what I need it to do, does it make sense to spend the extra money because will I get so much more out of it? Well, that's, that's a very good point. Uh, I think that if you're uh, the kind of person who has uh, is invested in a big screen television and who likes to, to, to go downstairs into your rec room and to, to play a first person shooter game and you want you don't want drop frames, you want a seamless experience, you want to be able to have maximum clarity, you want to have a big picture, uh, then you would invest uh, three or four hundred dollars in a graphics card. On the other hand, if you're the kind of person where, you know, you want to be able to uh, upload, you know, d uh, edit and upload YouTube videos, you want to be able to edit your, your photos at home, um, maybe you want to do, um, you know, some, some PowerPoint presentations for work and really have them run seamlessly, then, then you're looking for something a little more mid-range, in the hundred dollar range. On the other hand, if you're somebody who just surfs the web and, and uses Word, then integrated graphics are for you. That's a good point. Yeah. So maybe you don't have to take that step. But no. if, you know, if there are other qualifications, 
applications or as you get more into your computer and realize there's so much more to do, especially these days with all the media and the entertainment of our own that we can create. Now, all of a sudden, you start paying attention and say, maybe it is time for an upgrade. Absolutely. And you can learn all about those kinds of goodies at amd.com slash CES, by the way. Special site that's going to be up at least, I hope, through January. For sure. Oh, good, because with four weeks' worth of shows, we want to get folks there. Great. And uh, the ability to see all the cool things that Chris is talking about and all of our other AMD guests, and you'll get just as excited as we are. Thanks so much for spending a few minutes with us. Pleasure being here. We'll let you get back to the very busy AMD exhibit here at CES. <laughs> Thank you. Back with more from Las Vegas. I'm Dave Graveline. This is Into Tomorrow on the Advanced Media Network.